Howdy folks, uh, tonight's piece is decidedly non-current events. It's an older piece from the collection from the top. And uh, it is about shopping for a new car when we're, we're not shopping for a new car. But we were back then. We've been shopping for a new car. Well, not a new car, a different car. We want a different car because the transmission in our current car has reached its teen years and right on schedule it got all moody, then it began to sulk at stoplights and now it simply grunts and refuses to engage with the rest of the powertrain. Meaning we basically have four options. Raise a canvas sail, tell the kids to get out and push, cut a big hole in the floor and hit the road Fred Flintstone stuff. Fred Flintstone, Fred Flintstone, it's not easy. Cut a big hole in the floor and hit the road Fred Flintstone style, or get a different car. Of course, we could replace the delinquent transmission, but that would frankly triple the value of the vehicle in question, so now we're back to different. And of course, by different, I also mean used, a term that doesn't bother me in the least, especially since the alternative euphemisms, including previously owned and previously driven, are part of an ongoing stealth campaign to camouflage all of reality with two parts spackle and one part sparkle. Although neither of that pair comes within the 3,000 mile oil change of the recently deployed term reprocessed vehicle, a real neologismic toe curler that is the equivalent of sand in my mental gearbox and sounds as if it was composed by a committee including a cold-hearted prison warden an expert on industrial food extrusion, and, well, a used car dealer with denial issues. We don't mind used. It fits our budget, and furthermore, based on the way we've treated the one new car we've ever owned, used is exactly what we deserve. You drive off the lot swearing you'll never, ever sully the squeaky clean seat covers, and within a week there's loose change in the defroster, snow boot prints on the ceiling, and the heater smells of yogurt splatter. Also, I keep saying used car. Car. I don't know what happened. Also, I keep saying used car, when in truth we're shopping for a used minivan. Minivan. You know, I swore a long time ago you'd never catch me in one of those. So let's just call it uh, the ambulance. Car shopping is tough for me because I am just not a car guy. I could give two rips about what I'm driving, the sole exception being certain old pickup trucks that are not so much vehicles as loyal companions. Therefore, as with most grown-up decisions in our family, my wife is taking the lead, calling dealers, setting up test drives, and consulting a multitude of online car buying guides. When I started the fire on a recent cool morning, the weekly shopper was laden with circles and underlines and lists of pros and cons. I've done my part by accompanying her, accompanying her on follow-up test drives with salesmen, reconnoitering with Craigslist strangers in Walmart parking lots, kicking tires, looking for oil leaks, and talking the kids down when they realize there's a pretty good shot that not only will our vehicle not include a DVD player, it may have rolled off the line before DVDs were even invented. Shoot, the first used ambulance we bought had been rewired so you had to run the wipers using a standard electrical wall switch. Nearly a month has passed since we started looking. My wife and I are great at talking everything through and weighing all our options. We are not so great at pulling the trigger. We've had to borrow a car from a friend to get us through this patch. He has no children, so after he gets the car back, he'll probably roll a few miles before he stops wondering where we put the off-brand air freshener and realize that's just what raspberry yogurt smells like after two weeks in the heater. Take care of each other. See you later. Forward.